This video will discuss the American College of Surgeons Commission on Cancer Standard 5.5, dealing with curative intent wide local excision for primary cutaneous melanoma. The American College of Surgeons has adopted six operative standards for Commission on Cancer accreditation. These standards focus on evidence-based best practices in order to improve oncologic outcomes. Standard 5.5 pertains to the operative conduct of curative intent wide local excision for primary cutaneous melanoma and its proper documentation in synoptic format. It is important to mention that any wide local excision performed at a Commission on Cancer accredited hospital is included in the scope of Standard 5.5, regardless of who is performing the procedure. This includes healthcare professionals outside of surgical specialties, such as dermatologists. In this video, we will review the components of Standard 5.5 and the Commission on Cancer requirements that each accredited cancer program must fulfill in order to achieve compliance. Standard 5.5 applies to all curative intent, wide local excisions of primary cutaneous melanoma lesions. Operations must be performed in accordance with the operative standards for radial margin width based on Breslau thickness and the proper depth of excision. Additionally, the critical elements of the operation must be documented in synoptic format. There are four required elements that must be documented in the synoptic report in order to achieve compliance. Compliance with Commission on Cancer Standard 5.5 will be assessed at Commission on Cancer site visits. Sites were required to document their final plans for implementation of Standard 5.5 in 2022. Starting January 2023, Cases will be measured for compliance with the technical and reporting components of each standard. The 2023 operative reports will be reviewed with the goal of 70% compliance for the year 2024. We will now discuss the operative standards for curative intent wide local excision of primary cutaneous melanoma. Evidence-based recommendations for radial margin width is based on the Breslau thickness of the melanoma. Clinical margin width is measured from the edge of the primary lesion if present at the time of surgery or from the edge of the previous biopsy scar. For invasive melanoma with a Breslau thickness less than one millimeter, a clinical margin width of one centimeter is recommended. For a Breslau thickness one to two millimeters, a clinical margin width of one to two centimeters is recommended. For a Breslau thickness greater than or equal to two millimeters, a clinical margin width of 2 cm is recommended. For melanoma in situ, a clinical margin width of at least 5 mm is recommended. Lastly, in circumstances of deviation from these standard margins, the surgeon should clearly document reasons why, which may include anatomic constraints such as melanoma located near the medial canthus of the eye or in an operation performed within a clinical trial protocol. The purpose of wide local excision is to remove the primary tumor and surrounding at-risk lymphatic tissue. All wide local excisions with curative intent must achieve the proper depth of excision. For invasive melanoma, wide local excision must include the skin and all underlying subcutaneous tissue down to fascia. For melanoma in situ, wide local excision must include the skin and superficial subcutaneous fat. The operative management of primary cutaneous melanoma is a balance of achieving appropriate recommended clinical margins while minimizing surgical morbidity. The recommendations of Standard 5.5 are largely derived from prospective, randomized clinical trial data. Specifically, Standard 5.5 pertains to clinical margin width based on Breslau thickness, given the high impact of margin width on the risk of local recurrence. Based on data outlined previously, the Commission on Cancer Surgery has adopted the current operative standards for curative intent wide local excision of primary cutaneous melanoma. It is important to mention that the excised specimen should be properly oriented so that the pathologist can make an accurate assessment of margins. Again, any deviation from these standard margins should be clearly documented. Next, we will discuss the standardized documentation requirements for Standard 5.5. A key aspect of Standard 5.5 is the requirement to document critical elements of the cancer operation in synoptic format 
in order to be deemed compliant. Synoptic reporting utilizes predetermined, procedure-specific templates to standardize the operative documentation. Synoptic reporting documentation is required for compliance with Commission on Cancer Standards 5.3 through 5.6. This will be the first time that critical oncologic elements will be required in the operative documentation. The standardized documentation process will ensure accuracy and allow easier collection of pertinent data elements. There are four elements that require a response in synoptic format, which must be included in the operative note. These elements are operation performed with curative intent, the original Breslow thickness of the lesion, clinical margin width measured from the edge of the lesion or prior excisional scar, and the depth of excision. We will now discuss the timeline for the implementation of Commission on Cancer Standard 5.5. Compliance with Commission on Cancer Standard 5.5 will be assessed at Commission on Cancer site visits. Implementation of standards 5.3 through 5.6 began in 2020 when the operative standards were introduced and sites encouraged to plan for implementation. In 2022, sites were required to document their final plans for implementation of standards 5.3 through 5.6 at their respective facility. Site reviews will begin in 2024 reviewing cases from January 2023 and onward for compliance with the technical reporting components of each standard. Goal compliance for the initial site review in 2024 is 70%. For the year 2025, reviewers will assess for 80% compliance with this standard. The Cancer Surgery Standards Program, or CSSP, a part of the American College of Surgeons Cancer Programs, is focused on improving the quality of cancer surgery and has developed resources for implementation of these standards at COC accredited cancer programs. Surgeons are encouraged to perform curative intent wide local excision using the previously stated Commission on Cancer standards for margin width and depth of excision. This must then be documented in the synoptic format, including all four required elements. Sites are encouraged to perform internal audits to ensure compliance with these Commission on Cancer standards. Additionally, we encourage Commission on Cancer accredited cancer programs to optimize compliance using the numerous educational materials provided by the CSSP available in the Operative Standards Toolkit found on the American College of Surgeons website. Thank you for your time and participation in the implementation of these new Operative Standards. Please utilize these provided resources for more information regarding any of the Commission on Cancer Operative Standards. Please direct any questions to cssp at facs.org.